Hey everybody, uh, Sean Allison here. Uh, we're coming into April, uh, which means the kingfish will be here soon. So I figured it'd be a good time. Uh, I'm gonna do a little post about slide lining. I don't know if you guys have ever seen, know what slide lining is. Um, ultimately, when you wanna catch kingfish, you can't really fish a bait on the bottom very productively because they don't hunt the bottom. They like to hunt the surface. So we wanna present a, a live bait on the surface. So give us our best chance of catching a pretty good kingfish. Uh, Two of the biggest kingfish I've ever caught. I caught this way off a of ball haul. So, uh, can I show you guys the, the, the basic setup here? You can go out here with just a couple of rods and this basic knowledge and really and go out here and slide line and be successful at it. Okay. All right. So, for starters, first thing, you're going to have two rods. Okay. One should be very, very long. The other one should be pretty short, actually. It can even be a boat rod. Uh, but the long one, you're going to take a weight somewhere 12 to 16 ounce big surf weight that you can anchor the sand really well and you're going to tie it to that big long rod and that's the one i've got set up here all right sorry i've got it on kind of a short rod this is just for demonstration but this is going to be a tall rod and i want it to be i want this to be as tall as possible uh, if you take pvc and bungee it to the pier that helps too as long as you just get this rod as high as you can get it okay i'm going to take that big heavy surf weight I'm gonna literally bomb it out there as far as I can. Make this sure this is a reel that you can really just bomb a thousand miles, right? Once you get it out there and you get your weight set, get your rod set up, right? I've got it kind of strung out here, right? I just got a big five pound weight kind of holding the end of it, that, but that's where my, my weight is anchored uh, out off the beach, okay? All right, so now I need my rig that I'm gonna fish with, okay? You know, so I'm gonna have a second rod. This one can be shorter. And over here. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have a second rod here with my line coming out. If you got braid, it's probably a pretty good idea to put a long top shot of mono in case you have to, to hand line this at all off, the, off of a pier. This is where this is really useful is off of a beach pier and that's probably pretty much it. You're not gonna do this off a boat or anything. All right, so at the end here, got my swivel. I got my single strand steel leader so the kingfish can't bite through it. I've got my bait hook run right through the top of his eyes right there that's a pretty good anchor point ignore these hooks these i'm just using this bait for demonstration but normally you want another short section of wire here with a treble hook hooked in the tail is kind of a stinger because kingfish are infamous for kind of biting short and they'll catch that stinger there all right but then that's all i got on here now i need the means to attach this to that line and ultimately what i want to do is I want to clip this to this line and send it down to where the bait is right on the surface and when a fish takes it it'll pull free right so you can make a homemade rig they're pretty simple uh, I've got one right here a little closer right honestly I prefer the uh, the wooden clips to these plastic ones but you know they were these were cheap so I bought them a long time ago right got my single strand wire here I've got some weights actually I'm gonna put the weights on that bottom in there to another swivel with a snap swivel here the way i'm going to use this is i'm going to go to my swivel at the top of my wire leader that's connected to my fighting rod i'm going to take my little clothespin again there's a million different devices little release devices this is just a simple one that i used to make All right and i'm going to hang that there if i pull hard here this is going to pull out i don't want to i don't want to jerk on this real hard i've got a live blue runner here i want to take this open snap swivel and hook it onto my weight line it's probably a good idea to snap that shut then very gingerly i'm going to kind of ease this down then i'm going to pick this rod up and i'm going to start feeding line out and letting it, it's just going to slide down the line slide down all the way down to the water when the bait gets down to the water like it is here my bait just hit the water this is exactly where I want to stop right here. I don't want to let this get any deeper underwater. I need to make sure this line here stays super, super tight. You don't want this sagging in the water because the stuff will get all tangled up, right? Uh, release clip here, my, connected to my fighting rod. Now, when a kingfish or a jack crevel or something of that nature comes along that wants to eat this, sharks will pick it up sometimes. Ultimately, the goal is usually uh, kingfish with this rig, okay? But they're gonna come along and they're gonna smack your bait and optimistically, they're gonna that's gonna snap right out of there and now you're free to fight your fish on your fighting rod and that can be a short one you don't have any weight or anything else to worry about this is going to slide down all the way out there where your weights at but that's okay 
you just keep a handful of those in your tackle bag and after you land that fish finish up with that fish rig up again pull another one out of your bag clip it on send it down when you're done at the end of the day you haul that weight in you retrieve all of your little clips at the end of the day um, that's it in a nutshell uh, it's, it's pretty easy to do like i said two rods a little bit of knowledge you can actually go out there and, and land some pretty big pretty big kingfish with this